I think the goals and visions uh, for the SESH team were really um, to help the community in Pedernales that was affected by an earthquake in 2016. And it was to provide construction and engineering experience in the seismic area to work with Miyamoto and help construct homes there on the coast. This trip was all about learning. So the locals teaching us was really, um, we were really grateful for that because we personally, like we don't learn any bamboo in our like classes or anything. So it was a really like a great learning opportunity for us to learn new um, like building methods with bamboo and new like constructability things. And then also just like the material properties of bamboo are just different than any other material. We definitely split up into different groups to uh, attack different tasks, to work together. And it wasn't just our team, but we were able to work together with uh, leaders of the community, people that were experts in bamboo construction, and then also with architecture students from the area and with Miyamoto engineers. So it was really cool to find that bamboo was actually kind of similar to things that I've learned in my timber classes. Um, I know that everything has very different material properties, but just kind of the way that we would like cut and splice everything and then just kind of seeing like the strength of the bamboo, like I was able to apply some of the things that I'd learned in my timber classes to saying like, oh, I know why that they're doing this or I know why that they're doing um, these practices. Cal Poly definitely gave me a good advantage um, in the area of masonry. Um, having taken classes here in the labs, um, knew how to mix mortar, how to lay CMU blocks. So that experience was definitely helpful in the construction process. I never really thought much about how structural engineering impacts people in different communities and how, depending on where you are in the world and what resources available, you can use structural engineering to provide positive impact to people. I think that was a, a big takeaway for me. Our second week was um, us just being immersed in the culture. So we got to try so many good food and like I got to do some crazy things that are kind of bucket list things that I've never have done in my life. Um, but that was just really special because I got to tell my family and they're like, oh, only in Ecuador. Like, you know, you got this amazing experience to go and have that. Some of the highlights after um, being in Pedernales were being able to go to Banos, um, which was uh, surrounded by volcanoes in the jungle. It was a beautiful town. We were able to explore, go canyoneering, spend some time in the town, getting to know different food that was there, walking into different shops. I think it was a, it was a great experience. Thank you, Ashraf, for making this trip possible. It was a great experience uh, to be able to travel to Ecuador, learn about new materials, um, work with the local community there and experience a new culture. Ashraf, thank you so much on behalf of myself and on behalf of the 2022 um, like SESH team. We really, really, really appreciate your donation. It helped us a lot in like so many ways and I just really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart.